What's up, garden friend? Jeff here, at Tropical Plant Party. How's everybody doing? Hope you're good. I'm good. Doing some deadheading or entire leaf pulling. That didn't work out how I thought it would. This week is going to be unusual, just like last week. Oh, that was sticky. Wasn't expecting the stickiness. Things are getting clean. Nice, clean ground. Have supplies and things to put away. The head and shoulders is for my dog. I can see the hot tub again. Have to get up here and like scrub the cover and maybe put armor all on it. I don't know what the deal is. Like I can't get it clean, but it's new. It's only like a year old. Well, if I've learned anything, it's to not go ahead and project what I'm going to do this week because I never really know how things are going to pan out. What I do know is that everything's going to get tidied, tiki bar is getting cleaned off, so is the table, and then I'm going to uh, only keep things on the tiki bar that prob I'm probably going to move all my orchids that are in bloom to the tiki bar. Yeah, I think that that would look nice. I need to go shopping for a hose reel. This hose is really thick. Hmm. Well, as I've always said, when you got a lot to do and you don't know what to do, the best thing to do is to start doing something. So the way things are going to go today is I have to prioritize. Main thing is I need to edit a video for tomorrow. Tomorrow being Tuesday. So I started vlogging this week on Monday instead of Sunday. What is that? Oh, it's a B. Good morning, Tuck. Yeah, good morning. So, I'm going to work on that and do some fertilizing, move some more plants around, and there are some containers to tidy up and freshen up this week. So, that... <sighs> Moving on. My brain needs to wake up before I attempt to try and talk to anybody. Oh, I don't want to forget, though. I have to point these out. Look at how good these gingers are looking today. Oh, they look awesome. These spikes just came out of nowhere. They've been blooming for the past few months, but today it just looks so nice. Maybe not on the camera. I can't really see the lens. The sun is in my face, but they're just looking good. I've done a video on these, but I don't think I've ever really emphasized how much I love these. If you live in zone six or seven and you have warm springs and warm summers, it is so worth giving these guys a try. These are the Hedichiums, Hedichiums, ugh, the butterfly gingers. And this particular one, I think, is either Fiesta or Flaming Torch. I think it's Flaming Torch. They are so hardy, even though they're not given hardiness ratings. I don't know why. All I do is dump a bag of mulch on them. I cut them back and dump a bag of mulch on them. That's it. I let the frost kill them down most of the way. And this is what I have by the end of the year. It's too big for the spot, but, uh... You know what, I should probably talk about this later when you can actually see this on camera. Oh, crap. Alright, so I'm about to show you something I've never shown you before. That's not because I didn't want to, it just has never been relevant. This is my rehab area. It's a mess, but that's because it doesn't need to be all spick and span and tidy because this is where I bring plants that are in recovery mode. Mostly things I've picked up on clearance or friends have given to me or uh, even things that have just kind of bloomed out and don't need to be out with all the other main plants but still need to be taken care of. Like uh, there's some various gingers and things on there that have already done their blooming for the year so they're just leaves. They don't really look like anything special but you know they still need to be taken care of. I also have some of my orchids over here just because the aquaponics tub is right behind me so it's easy to give them really easy waterings with that and they're growing really well so I'm going to probably be keeping my orchids over here next year and then there's the aquaponics tub y'all have already seen that I need to do some pruning here but here's kind of the thing let me just try and see if I can work my way back here <clears throat> these strawberries hello from reflection me are taking over this whole area. They're wild strawberries. I didn't plant them. I don't want to spray them with anything because the wildlife likes to eat them. So I need to get in here and I guess I'm just going to have to hand pull them. But for the party, I'm actually going to block this area off because it leads down 
towards the sewer system, and it's just not a safe area. There's going to be some kids here, so... But I still... I don't want to just cover up the mess. I'd rather tidy it up first. Oh, and I grow tomatoes. There's the tomatoes. Looks like I have a bunch I need to pick, too. I was just back there pruning, cutting back the crocus mia, and came upon this guy. That's the cocoon of a monarch butterfly. So I'm glad I noticed that, because I would have felt really bad if that had gotten thrown out. So I'm going to have to be really careful. Now I need to go through everything I cut back to make sure I'm not throwing any of these little babies away. And then, oh, focus please. In the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and take this and put it up here where it's safe. Ah, there we go. Should be just fine up there. All right, well... That still looks terrible, but it's a step in the right direction. So now I just need to, you know, do all the things that make it look better. Or whatever. I don't know. I'm going to move on to something else because, quite frankly, I'm bored with this. Okay, so now I'm doing more rearranging. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I'm going to move this ginger. I'm just going to kind of move it that way. Because it actually has a huge footprint and it's taking up too much patio space. I'm gonna put little intricate planters around the watering dish. That's the watering dish, the bowl for the dogs, the pot for the dogs. And then that way I'll be able to plant some stuff in the base of the pot that this Robolini is in. This Robolini actually has like a really nice arrangement going on, but you can't even see it. That being said though, I'm keeping this ginger over here on this end because it's near the light and it will reflect light really well at nighttime. That's one of the reasons I like it is because it illuminates somewhat at nighttime, draws the eye and kind of has a warm glow to it, but not right here. May have overestimated the amount of space this ginger is going to take up, but look at how much I can clean up from the bottom there and I can kind of twist it and rotate it and I found two more stakes. That's good. Just remember last week's video when I was trying to stake up all the eucamus, the pineapple lilies? I've still been trying to collect stakes to get that done, so... That's good. And I haven't been able to get to this Robolini back here, so it's got all kinds of weeds and things in it. And man, the weeds know how to blend, that's for sure. I mean, they're really... I guess that doesn't look that similar. Never mind. Like this guy. Look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna have to pull that out. Where do you come from? There, there, is this it? I think this is it. Let's hope so. Ah, oh, man. Oh well. I'll get the rest in the fall when I get back there and pull the plant out. There we go, that's better. Got all that stuff cleaned up, hose things down. That's actually the electrical. I cut a pot and put it over it and taped up the holes just because water hits it and then the breaker blows. Uh, but I'm going to fill in gaps with neat, pretty little arrangements. I kind of want to move this over there. But as far as practicality goes, that doesn't make sense because the electrical is right there and this helps hide the... I don't know. There's a lot of playing with things to be done here. Now I can see the front of the Robolini and uh, get a better idea of how to sort of stage things up. Man, I'm gonna waste all the time for this week's vlog on one corner. I need to just kind of shut up and show you the after effect, uh, after, after effects, after, shit, whatever. Oh my goodness. Taking a break, got tired. It's been about three hours and I did this. I did all that. And then I've redone this whole area. I hate the all the different pots but what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in all these little gaps with all of my little hibiscus my one's from Hidden Valley hibiscus and this is going to be kind of like my hibiscus corner because I can irrigate them all the same and just sort of control their conditions a lot better <clears throat> but this is better this like there were plants coming all the way up to about here before and this lounger was there so overall opening up space need to get more stakes and tie that up. And then down here I have these two windmill palms and these urns. I think I'm going to move these. It just doesn't, there's no symmetry with them right here. So they don't fit. So I think I'm going to move these 
over back there. I, the windmill palms are more appealing to me for really fall, winter, and early spring when I can't have the other plants outside. So I'm going to move those. I've been doing like biggest to smallest. I'm working my way down. So I'll do that, and then I think that's going to be it for the big stuff, and I can start handling all the little bitty things. That's That I'm looking forward to. Or maybe I should just move the one, because this one's looking pretty nice. I'm liking the... Mm, I'll move it, and we'll see how it looks. So down here, I think it looks better without the windmill palm. Up here, I like the palm there. It's blocking the stake. I can't move that stake. These hibis or hibiscus, these hydrangeas just want to fall forward all the time. So I think I'm going to put it back, even though it would look... You know, with the Serenity Garden over there, there's no symmetry on each side of the step, so I'm really... I'm overthinking this. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That'll do. I'm fine with that. I need to move this guy. Just gotta get this out of the way. That's in the way. I was gonna try and put it back in that. How the hell am I gonna do this? All right. Works for me. That'll do. Just go through and tidy. I think I can start moving to the little stuff now. Look how big this guy's getting. Okay, there is absolutely nothing about this that I like. It just looks so junky. Fixed it. Eh, sort of. Still not crazy about this. But it's more acceptable. Now, I'm gonna handle this mess. I'm just gonna leave a few things on each surface. Preferably, I'm only gonna have orchids that are in bloom on the tiki bar. So I went ahead and I sectioned off the shell. I went ahead and pulled the sedums and cleaned them up and tidied them. Really it's this middle area where it wasn't getting quite enough sun and things have just kind of grown themselves out that I need to do something new with. I decided to go ahead and leave the Senecios in here, the String of Pearls, for now. And then when risk of frost comes up, I'll go ahead and pull them. Because these sedums are hardy to zone 7. So if I put them in one of my... Well, I'm going to be building like a cold frame sort of thing to store some plants in during the winter then they might do okay in there and I really like them they're vibrant they're colorful and man they grow like crazy they they definitely have some vigor to them so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of put some fall stuff in with this I know that it's probably not gonna look quite right but maybe the contrasting foliages and things will I think it'll work out okay as long as I have things sloped back so that the, everything drains freely in the front and that way things don't get too water away. I'm gonna do this and see what it looks like. Done. I like it. Got kind of a fall succulent fusion type of thing happening. Yeah. It'll do. I'm okay with it. Not ideal. I went ahead and I have this whole thing tilted backwards so the succulents in the front Hopefully the water will drain out a lot faster since these plants in the back need much more water, obviously, than the succulents, which I basically don't usually even water. Music